Brent and Jen, Yukon police say after investigating the incident surrounding that video, two male students are now facing charges. But the NAACP chapter here at Yukon says it's still on high alert. This video has gone viral, but for all the wrong reasons. It shows three men walking through the parking lot of the Charter Oak Apartments yelling the N-word. Yukon police announcing tonight the arrest of two male students as a result. 21-year-old Jared Corral and 21-year-old Ryan Mukash, both scheduled to appear in Rockville Superior Court next Wednesday. Police say a third male seen in the video did not participate. Yukon's NAACP chapter says they won't stand for for such behavior. The chapter held a town hall on campus Monday night, focusing on a list of demands they want to see from the university. We want to see more diversity uh, amongst the faculty. We want to see the university answer incidents of racism with more promptness. Although arrests have been made, students say if the university does not take further action, their silence will create a culture in which racism is tolerated. It's good because it sets an example for everyone on the UConn campus that there are repercussions for your actions and that actions need to be taken in order to show that there's change being made. Tonight's town hall, just one of many measures students are taking after the video surfaced. Just hours before, hundreds rallied on campus, marching to oppose racism in all forms. New Yukon President Thomas Katsalaeus taking the bullhorn. If you're not uh, for uh, equality and respect, then I'm not for you. I didn't think it was going to happen so fast, and I think that the, the gathering today did help. I don't think there was a sense of urgency before. I also would just like to see more care from the whole entire student body. And President Casaleas releasing a statement just a short time ago saying it is supportive of our core values to pursue accountability through due process for an assault on our community that has caused considerable harm. I'm grateful for the university's collective effort in responding to this incident, especially the hard work of the Yukon Police Department, which has been investigating the case since it was reported. For now, live in stores, Nia Maldonado, Fox 61 News.